First is on the question of disbursements. As of 9th January 2024, which is today, no single constituency has received a single cent of the NGCDF funds. None of us here have received no single members of member of parliament. Um, by now, CDF allocation should be 35 percent of the on bursaries should be 35 percent of the CDF allocation, which translates to about 18.5 billion. No single cent has been dispersed in this respect, with the consequence that there are many pupils and students who are stranded all over this country. As we speak, CDF allocation for the year should be 63 billion shillings. Because we are in the third quarter, by now we should have received at least 75% of this money, which translates to just about 46 billion. To date, as of this date, no single amount has been received, despite all sorts of utterances that you may have had elsewhere. So these false statements lead citizens to think that MPs have received money and they are sitting on it. We want to make it clear that we have not received it, and we urge the government to immediately release this entire amount of CDS allocation uh, that we ought to have received. Um, it is also important to note that by last year, through our speaker, the government gave commitment that CDF funds will have been fully released by 20th of December. And there was a, an official communication by our speaker to that effect. It is clear that they, mis they misled our speaker, they misled the National Assembly, and they misled the people, and that's unfortunate. Secondly, there's a CDF memo dated 4th January 2024, and uh, members of the press might be aware of this. This CDF memo was directed to all CDF account managers countrywide. It was directing them that money cannot be released because there were certain amendments to the CDF Act, as a result of which they were supposed to recall the proposals that they had made and redo it and resubmit it. We want to say categorically that, in our opinion, that memo is misguided, it's unlawful, and it is improper, and it must be withdrawn. The first reason is, yes, there were certain amendments to the CDF Act towards the end of last year, actually in the months of November going to December. Those amendments essentially affected only two things. They affected the question of sports and the question of the Constituency Oversight Committee. In our opinion, the material date that must be applied is 1st July 2023, when the financial year begins. And the law as at that date is the law that must apply to CDF until we get to 1st July 2024. As of that date, there were no amendments. So to issue a memo purporting you cannot issue CDF funds because of amendments in December 2023 is mischievous, is misleading, and it's unlawful. In any event, that would amount to what in law we call retroactivity. No law ever operates behind. It operates going forward. And if it's to cover, operate behind, it must be expressly stated. The amendments and the act does not purport to say that they will take effect from 1st July 2023. Secondly, even if that argument was to be believed, those amendments only affect sports and the constituency oversight committee which is just about 6 or so percent of the overall allocation of CDF. If that was true, they'd have released the 94 percent of CDF and indicated that they will withhold the 6 percent pending adjustment. They cannot withhold or return the entire proposal on that account. Thirdly and lastly, if that argument was true, then it would mean they cannot disperse any money. How then is it that we are getting statements saying they've dispersed certain amounts of money? Either you can disperse or you cannot disperse. You cannot say I cannot disperse, then on the other hand you say I've dispersed a certain amount of money. So our position is clear that that memo must be withdrawn, the CDF funds must be released. Way forward. As a bipartisan team comprising all members of the House from both sides, we demand that the entire allocation of CDF must be released within seven days as is due. And if that is not done, we will call for a special sitting of the House. When we call for a special sitting, secondly, we will then draft appropriate motions against the CS Treasury and against the CDF Board 
or any such other entity as we may determine at the time. Thank you. Thank you. Meona leo hapa hakuna uzo ya Kenya kwanza, hakuna uzo ya azimio. Nyuzo zote ni za wana Kenya. Na sisi ni wabunge ambaye tuna represent every constituency katika nchi yetu ya Kenya. Mwanafunzi anatoka kwa constituency A ambayo iko chini ya mbunge wa azimio wamemuita kwa high school ya constituency B ambayo iko kwa Kenya kwanza. So we have no face. Sisi ni wabunge ambayo tumekuja hapa. Kitu cha kwanza sisi wabunge tunajua haki zetu kama bunge. Hii pesa ya CDF imepewa second chance, inaangaliwa kama second chance. Kwa nini tunaisapata pesa iende kwa department zingine? Ili hali CDF ambayo inasaidia kila mwanafunzi. Shule hazina madarasa sasa hivi tusema hivi. Wana rely kwa, kwa bunge kuchenga hizo. Up to now acha tuma hiyo pesa. We are telling government naambia leo kwamba sisi hatutaki Kiswahili, hatutaki Kiingereza ya CS kwanza walifanya speaker wetu wa bunge akatudanganya kama katika bunge. Ala kasema tarehe 22 mwezi wa 12. CS walimpatia statement. Tarehe 20 mwezi wa 12 tuliambiwa na speaker wa bunge kwamba pesa itakuwa ime hit the accounts ya constituency zetu zote Kenya. Up to now mpaka saa hivi tunaongea hivi. Walifanya speaker wetu akatuambi na speaker akiongea katika kiti chake cha bunge ni sheria. Haliongea kama sheria, ametoa sheria lenye halikufanyika. Sasa CS wa Treasury tunakwambia saa hii. Jioni hii nataka pesa 75% kwa imeingia kwa account. Hatoi kuambiwa iko kwa board ama iko wapi. Sisi tunajua CDF account zetu hazina pesa. Wanafunzi wanataka kwenda nyumbani. Kila mbunge vile ako hapo, kaipenda shuleni. Kila mbunge ambaye yako Kenya, ukienda kwa boma laki utapata kila uniform iko kwa compound ya kwa waiting benches. Kila shule iko hapo wanafunzi wanataka usaidizi. Where are we going to get this money? Asante sana. Yeah. But we are also talking about NGAF, the National Government Affirmative Action Fund. And the National Government Affirmative Action Fund is the fund that is uh, under the women representatives. And we just want to say that as members of parliament, both male and female, those in single constituencies and those from counties, as the members have said, we are tired of people crowding our homes. We are tired of being added to WhatsApp groups. We are here as servants of the people. And when our people are suffering, we must speak. And because of that, we want to tell Treasury that we are not joking. And we are going to take them head on. When it comes to issues regarding Kenyans, we don't joke. We are going to take you head on. And please release that money today. Because we are not going to have uh, young people missing uh, uh, chances in national schools, Then we start writing stories like the ones we are seeing. This boy came with a, a, a metal box. I came, I was dinner fee. We created a WhatsApp group. These are issues that should be history. When we have funds, release those funds so that we don't have children standing with billboards like prisoners, like people who have been charged by DCI. Standing with those uh, billboards, I am 14 years old, I do not have money, and there is money here. Please release the money we need to let our children go to school. We are not joking. Many of us have left our constituencies when we saw that there is this kamkunji. And you better take us seriously. And we also want to say, kindly stop trying to intimidate members. Our first call is to our constituents. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.